This first BO6 event has been a disaster and they've really leaned in to pay to win. As you can see right here, we have the Crash Bandit bundle that they just released with the new Sierra 9mm special weapon. And this bundle is 2,800 COD points if you want to get the new weapon early. Now, if you don't got $30 to shell out for a bundle, you're going to have to wait until the community as a whole hits 50 billion kills across all three modes. The absolute whiplash that Treyarch has given me today is just absolutely ridiculous because this is not the way I want to be testing out a new weapon, especially when we've had such great events in MW3 now. For this event alone, both weapons have been available early just by purchasing bundles. With the first weapon you could purchase early being the power drill, but that was only like a few hours before you could actually use it. And that was mainly based off of your own individual value of what you put into the event. So unlock that, all you had to do was get a thousand kills and then you'd be able to get the drill at your own pace, or you can just go ahead and grab the bundle. But now this, it's literally impossible to get this weapon without buying the bundle currently. And it's not even really known if we're going to be able to get the new weapon at the end of this event. Like, it seems like it's, it looks like we're not even going to be on pace to hit the 50 billion kills by the time this event is over. So I'm assuming this is either put out by accident or the event was maybe way overinflated on terms of where Treyarch thought we could get in the event. Because I think prior to it releasing, it was leaked that we only needed like 25 billion kills or something like that. And currently we're at 16 billion. So I guess that would be a little more reasonable but for whatever reason they just like doubled the amount of kills like 50 billion is an insane amount and the reason i say i've been given a bit of whiplash is because earlier today we also got the cinematic trailer for the new zombies map rick de smarty and in that trailer we get to see rabinov again for the first time since cold war or i guess for the first time since mw3 but like the first time since cold war's timeline it's all jumbled it's it's a mess but rabinov he's got his hair grown out he's obviously missing Maxis and apparently he's been at this castle or the citadel or whatever uh just babysitting Robert Kraft no is that his name is he the Patriots owner the old dude from Vanguard and although it was really cool to see that trailer and I'm really excited for the new map and I've been really enjoying zombies it feels like they're just making a lot of wrong decisions when it comes to like community welfare i guess because not only have we had the whole pay to win thing but we had the whole xp tokens thing being taken away and that's come out as like it was some sort of like stability issue with the war zone integration and it's been fixed now but it's like they take some good grace with the community and then they throw it away doing something else like i feel like they're they're trying to find the line of what they can do like this is not the way i want to be trying out a, a brand new weapon to this game like i, I was very excited to see them add in the power drill and this like crazy whatever the hell this is briefcase smg type thing but it just don't hit the same it, it don't hit the same having to grab a bundle when there's no other way to get it right now anyways i guess while we have the weapon might as well review it currently i think the max amount of ammo you can have in a magazine prior to pack punch is these 40 bullets in the stock ammo looks extremely low with 192 bullets and we lightly touched on this before but it is in its own weapon class it is a special weapon the first of its kind in this game kind of similar to like the m79 in cold war but i'm almost positive for this weapon it's not linked to the melee weapon class so i don't think you have to get this in a melee weapon done to be able to get it opal i think we should be able to get it right away so now we have a few different options for weapons you want to do if there are a certain like weapon classes you want to skip if you wanted to skip the launchers, you could. If you wanted to skip the shotguns, you could. And maybe even the pistols. Actually, there might be one too many pistols. I don't know. But just the amount of DLC weapons you can get is the amount of weapons you can skip. But this is a, a pay to skip, I guess. Let's open up the, the Aether Bussy and go ahead and get this thing pack a punch. So the mag size doubles to 80 and we get 384 rounds in reserve. So really not a lot of ammo to deal with here. So I'm hoping this can do a decent amount of damage once we get it fully upgraded. And it looks like with this blueprint, it inverts the pack a punch camo. Actually, it inverts it quite a bit here. So in the middle, you see a lot of the main color that you don't see, uh, a little less of the beans color, the baked beans, and a lot more of the secondary color. So it's got that going for it. I think the fire rate on it might be slightly increased after Pack-A-Punch. Does seem like it's shooting a little bit faster, but this is also one of the few weapons in this game that doesn't look like it has a rapid fire attachment. And since this is under the special weapon category in games like multiplayer and Warzone, you can go ahead and equip it as your secondary. Similarly, like the pistols and the launchers, but here in zombies doesn't really help us out a, 
a whole lot because uh, it takes over your primary weapon that you would infill with. Let's go ahead and try to get this up to rare. Where's my crosshair? Ooh, even without a crosshair, that was the perfect throw. Landed right on his noggin. And against the Mangler, it's not really doing a whole lot of damage currently. As the name of the weapon suggests, the Siren 9mm does only have 9mm bullets in it, which is perfectly averaged and it's a good size. But is, uh, uh, from what I know, I'm, I'm no uh, gun buff or nothing, the, one of the weaker calibers. And from the looks of it, it only has the one firing mode. So with most weapons, it'll have like its full auto or like semi-auto or whatever. And then you can switch it to just a, a single fire, which I usually like to do for the dead shot easter egg over here but we're gonna have to try to tap it and see if we can actually even hit it because the idle sway on this is a little wild nope let's grab pack two let's keep on moving oh my lanta all right abomination oh it took out your face right away so the damage don't seem bad on it at least so far we might be a little over upgraded for this round a little ahead of the curve but we're taking him out very fast that is the first abomination to spawn so he is going to be a little weak but that was not bad at all and last time we were playing you guys were telling me that doing the jump over here to the yummy freeze you can actually open up the door to the yummy freeze like front entrance here and make your way into the bank without opening those normal doors. So I want to try that out for a little camo grinding. So we'll just have our melee weapon out. We got stamina up. We should be able to make the jump. Ooh. Let me just crouch and go right over to here. Hit the sweet spot. Get that open. I guess we're going to have to open this up. Oh, hidden power. Do I even want to use that right now? No, I'm not going to. We're already at epic tier. It feels like a waste. But we can go in through the front here of the yummy freeze and head on into the bank and stand right here on top of the counter. And everything's going to have to climb up to get to us. So this is like our new colonel's office. The vault got anything good for me? Considering I'm spending all this money. There we go. Legendary Aether Tool. Nice. Ooh. The one bad thing about this is we're going to get the abomination spawning right next to us, but... Uh, he's kind of getting slaughtered at the moment. We'll just throw that shock stick down. Can we take you out? Can you open your mouth for me so I don't waste my ammo, sir? There you go. Night, night, buddy. Now we can get back to grinding out our camos. Okay. Oh, they're all looping around the, the entire bar here. Hold on. A little frenzied. We'll get back on track. Damn, absolutely cleared that round. Well, while we're grinding camos right here, the camo challenges for this weapon are basically the same as every other weapon. We still need 2,000 crits. And then the special challenges for it, I think it's get 30 vermin kills. And then I think 300 hip fire kills, maybe. I don't know. I wasn't paying that much attention to the camos. I'm going to try to get as much as I can done in this one game, but we might have to play another one because... I don't know for sure, but from what I've been seeing with people playing directed mode is they might have nerfed mangler spawns where you can no longer guarantee that one spawns on round 11. Either that or like you can't like save and quit out of uh, a game if you get like a vermin round and it fixes it. I don't know. I haven't played directed mode in a bit because it is good for getting camos, but I just get bored. I think it's more fun to just, you know, get to a higher round anyways. So I guess we'll see how many rounds we can get to with this weapon, what round that it falls off at, and uh, if it's able to get the 2000 crits before it falls off or before it runs out of ammo because ammo is already becoming an issue for this weapon. But it's still... Doing a decent job here on round 22. It seems to actually be doing kind of decent against armor for now. But I'm sure that'll change later on. I'm sure the manglers will be tough to take on. Oh, sick. An abomination spawning right next to us. Can I please get my gobble gum, sir? Oh, it's free fire. I might as well use the one I got. Let's head back on inside. Yeah, come on up here, buddy. I'm just going to need you to go ahead and die, though. You know, at your earliest convenience. Whatever works for you. That shock stick might have just saved my life. Oh, I'm putting in work, though, to try to end it. Come on. Did not mean to pull out that mangler cannon. That's how hard I was trying to save my life, how hard I was panicking. Mangler, get down. Oh, this is tough. Let me out. Let me out. Thank you. We really should not have survived any of this. But we fucking did. Because we're just that good. 
and it's still tearing through these zombies. We're getting pretty close to where the difficulty's supposed to spike, too, so... Weapon's looking pretty decent, but maybe that's unintended. Because I'm sure if this thing is going to be nasty in multiplayer, they're going to give it a nerf, and the nerf's going to affect zombies again, even though they said it's not supposed to. And we're going to have to wait for a fix. But I'm complaining about problems that don't exist yet. These are just my predictions. Oh, how convenient. They're going to give us a trial in here. PhD flopper trial? Don't know if I want to do all that. I'm going to get killed. I got so used to training around since there is an abomination here that we can go back to standing on this. Let's throw that down. And let's have the zombies come to me in a single file line. You guys need to wait your turn. Oh, and our free fire gobblegum's already expired. That's lame. We'll just use our pseudo free fire. Oh, shit. He was just sliding on me? Mangler, don't you do that. Actually, you know what? It's fine that we don't complete this trial because it's just spawning in more zombies for us to get headshots on. That's just more free camo progress without affecting the round count. We'll take that all day. But it doesn't look like the zombies will come up and hit me from the side of the, the bank counter unless I am off of it and then hop back on. This is actually a really good grinding spot. I like this a lot. It's got a little sense of danger, but you can always use the vault as an oh shit button. You go back there and like try to put in the combination or just head on in. You could also run Aether Shroud here if you really wanted to and just Aether Shroud onto the, the yummy freeze rooftop. But we got enough for pack three, so let's go ahead and pick it up. And it looks so weird with the camos inverted. I don't know if I like that. It is a really cool inspect though, which is the normal inspect. It's not like uh, an inspect that comes exclusive with this blueprint. And speaking of the inspect, it's really hard to sit here and praise them for coming up with like a, a fun weapon design, or at least, you know, including a more fun weapon design in this game. Cause obviously it's supposed to be like a briefcase, like hidden gun, you know, kind of leans into the whole espionage thing that this game has going on with its theming. And it being in its own weapon category has me hopeful for the future of uh, different kinds of weapons coming into this game that are more espionage themed. Like maybe we could get a uh, like pen pistol thing, like where it just looks like a pen, but oh no, I can shoot you with it. Like a lot of espionage type weapons would be cool. And I think it would be a nice little uh, successor to aftermarket parts being added into the game, but they really just debuted this weapon in such a, a, a way that just puts a stale taste in my mouth. But I do really like this spot for vermin rounds. It makes it feel like they go by way faster. I can just stand here in front of this window and shoot right in front of me and to the right of me and we can get all the vermins pretty quickly. I think those are the only two spots they can spawn from too. At least I, I, I hope so. I hope no vermin don't come from outside and beat my ass. These vermin can fight. Oh, there we go. That was a round 25 vermin round. We made it through in like a minute. So let's go ahead and grab cryo freeze on this and scoop up elemental. We're gonna have to use stock option here. Hopefully we have enough ammo to get through this fight. We really need this abomination to open up. You're an ass. We're still tearing through his health at round 26. Like it's still doing pretty well for itself. Like this weapon actually seems pretty good. Okay, now is a real test. We're on round 29 now. And it still slaughters these abominations. It's already dead. It didn't even get a chance to try to attack us. Like, this gun is great. I just hate how the way we have to get it. Another abomination? No. How about we don't live? How about that? How about you stop living? You do that for us? Damn, if this thing had any more ammo... It would be kind of busted. Like free fire gobble gums are the way to go with this. But those are not easy to get. But now we've made it into the 30s. We'll see if this gun falls off. But so far, it's been doing very good. Like this is actually one of the better bullet weapons in the game, which is insane to me. Why would they make such a fire gun for zombies and then make it so the only way you can get it is through a bundle? I'm just going to go ahead and use our free fire now. Nice. We have to reload during a free fire. Cool. Sick. Yeah, reload, put in your armor, ADHD ass weaver, fucking pick a struggle, and the abomination's basically already dead. You just need him to open up a little bit. Don't like your bulletproof ass skin. And it is getting a little crazy in here, a little, little wet and wild, god damn it. We should be able to get back up. Yeah, there we go. And we'll take him out, and uh, I'll be on my way. But it took us till round 32 to go down. Actually, that's not true. I went down during a trial earlier. But that don't count. And against a fully health up mangler, took him down very fast. Like, this thing's crit damage is kind of crazy. Even through armor. Holy shit. It gets very hectic in here. Let's throw a quick nade. 
you guys want to chill out? Get the fuck out of my face. Grenade. Let me reload, Abomination. I'll be right with you. Oh, god damn it. He was so low, too. God damn it. I am fumbling. This gun's still putting in work on damn near round 40. But definitely not as uh, efficient as it was earlier. Like, we're going to have to do a little bit of moving around once we run out of, like, lethals and tacticals here. But it almost is, like, able to sit here and camp this high of a round. Like, the damage fall off on this gun does not seem nearly as drastic as some of the others. Oh, there's our whiteout camo. We're still 500 crits away. We honestly might need to go into directed to finish our crits. Oh, what the fuck is this? MW3 Easter egg, where I get a mangler cannon shot flying in front of my face here instead of the scorcher. This is ridiculous, dude. So we're surviving barely, but uh, we're not getting a whole lot of progress. I still need about 500 more crits. So I'm going to save and quit. We're going to hop into a new game, try to get our crits back or at least get them done. And then we'll hop back onto this and see if we can take it any further than 43, which is already insane for a bullet weapon. I, I am using a little bit of score streaks and nades here and there, but it the gun's doing most of the work. So now with the carry handle grip on this, I guess it's going to look a little more like a briefcase. Still got to hold the ammo separately though. Batteries not included. And with the suppressor, we should get more salvage drop, hopefully. Feels weird that uh, having a briefcase gun wouldn't just come uh, stock with a suppressor on it if you're trying to be all covert. Oh, there's our purple tiger camo. All done with crits. And I didn't even think about it until like a round or two ago, but we need parasite kills, I'm pretty sure. And uh, kind of hard to get a parasite here on this map. Not impossible, but... You really just need to, like, nourish and let a vermin grow. I'm actually debating saving and quitting this game and just overriding our round 42 game. And then just going to Terminus, knocking out our parasite kills, and then coming back to here. Because at round 40, we're not really going to get a whole lot of, uh, like, progress for our weapon, at least not efficiently. But if we save and quit at, like, round 20-ish and come back, like, you saw how long it was working, we can make it the weapon work into the... the 30s. Yeah, I think that's the play. And then we can come back here and get our mangler kills too for Opal. Sorry, other save. You're gone. Should only take like maybe one or two of these parasite rounds. And hopefully we get enough in between each round to get us up to the 30 we need. This should be a good way to get some to spawn. We're just gonna shoot all these spores over here. For each one that we shoot, one should spawn. Why is that invincible? There we go. Why don't you guys follow me on over to this island? That's some nice progress right there. Oh, there's a lot actually. Holy shit. It's not even a, a parasite round, is it? If it is, it don't look like it. No, it's not. Shit. This is our last parasite round. Are we done? Are we done after this? Yep. Tempt fate camo. Honestly, pretty sick. And we can still get our hip fire kills here and our kills rapidly. And then we can switch on over to Liberty Falls after. We're just map hopping today. Oh, and there's our hip fire kills. Let's go. Oh, and there's Mystic Gold already. I thought I'd stay on Terminus a bit longer to see if I can just get a few Mangler kills here and speed up the process, but I've only really seen a few Manglers. It's basically been, a, like, only Amalgams. And unfortunately, those do not count. Those are elites, so we need specials. This will just exfil from this game. All right, we're back, Liberty. Bring on the Manglers. Is this our last Mangler? You gotta be the last Mangler. Go ahead, show me the camo. I'm ready for it. All right, what about now? Oh, dick. I did get Opal though, let's go. Went down at the perfect time. Oh, and the car blew up, got, getting me up. Okay, and let's go do a final stand right here. We'll end the grind where we started it. Let's see if we can even get our frenzied guard here. I don't know if we'll be able to. We're a little over halfway. And we got no lethals or tacticals to help us. We do got a self revive though. When we go down right here, I think we're cooked. We're done. 37 rounds in this game, 42 rounds on the other one. And then we made it to like 26 on Terminus. A lot of rounds, but well, we got Opal. All right, well, here is our Siren, our Siren, whatever you want to call it, our briefcase gun with Opal on it. And it did very, very well, but I'm having a hard time being excited about it because of the whole way it was added into the game. I still think it's a very good gun. And when it comes out eventually, if it does, if we end up reaching that goal on the event, I would definitely recommend giving it a try, but 
as of right now, I don't think it is worth the $30. I mean, if you already got the COD points on your account, I mean, I guess pick it up. I mean, do whatever you want with what you got, but still just kind of disappointing because it is a very, very good gun. Just a kind of a lame way to release it. Well, hopefully in the future for some events like these, we don't have to pay to get these weapons weeks early, but it's really unfortunate how it happened today. Because like I said, this is a really good weapon and I would recommend using it. Just I wouldn't recommend buying the bundle because I don't even really like the blueprint for it. I don't like the operator for it. I don't like anything in there. It's just the only way to unlock it without getting to the 50 billion kills for the event. But I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.